In the today's session, I am going to share you one of the important and frequently asked entry questions for experienced professional. That question is nothing but how to ensure your code is scalable and maintainable. Okay, so number of IT employees who are trying as an experienced professional and who are having a good experience in IT industry, they so those IT employees also they are unable to give the proper answer for this query. So for that reason, I am going to upload one of the best answers is how to ensure your code or application is scalable and maintainable. Watch till the end of video, then you definitely understand how to explain or how to answer for this query. So without wasting our time, let us start the main topic. So you may have doubt what is the exact meaning of scalable. The basic definition of scalable is so whenever you are developing any application, suppose if you after one year or after six months, you are planning to add more resources for the existing software. If the application is not broken and it is giving more performance or better for or better performance, that is nothing but scalable. Now let's talk about how to answer for this query. The first point is you have to use appropriate data structures and algorithms. So you have to choose the appropriate data structures and algorithms for your application requirement. This will ensure that your application or code can handle large data sets as well and scales as well as your application grows. Even if you are adding more resources or features for your application, then your application can easily handle huge volume of data as well if you use proper uh, data such and algorithms for developing your application or software. So this is one of the main thing if you are expecting more scalable application. And second one is you have to follow coding standards. Here coding standards means so whenever you are declaring any variable names or uh, any syntax, you have to use relevant keywords or business related keywords that must be readable and correctness give insurance consistency and readability of your application or software and third one here design patterns such as mvc or mvvm or mvp so if you follow design patterns then your code must be a module or scalable and next point is you have to test your code thoroughly so you have to write automated test cases to ensure that your code is working as per expectation as for business requirement and also it can ensure that whenever you are changing any functionality or features it doesn't break any functionality in the future as well so that is the main benefit of uh, to test your code thoroughly whenever you are completing your application code and next one is use version control system that is nothing but git because because this helps the programmer whenever uh, something is goes wrong you can easily roll back their changes as well. And also you have to remember one more important point. You have to write a clear, concise and a modular code. It means you have to break your large problem into smaller modules and you have to, oh, and you have to solve those small modules. That modules are easier to understand and you can easily maintain that module as well in the future also. Last one is you have to follow some documentation for your code as well. If you follow documentation then the next programmers whenever new programmers will come then those people can easily understand your application or code and then after understanding your application um, by reading your comments or documentation they can easily uh, adoptable and documentation is also very helpful to understand the application or code by following these practices you can easily uh, develop a scalable and maintainable code or application guys well, guys mind i hope this answer is very helpful to crack or to clear your interview whenever you are facing this kind of query how to ensure your code is scalable or maintainable okay so if you really feel this information is helpful don't forget to hit the like button and also don't forget to share to your friends as well so we'll meet with one more useful content video thank you very much